Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP list tutorial for beginners and this is our part 8. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we implement our add delete, delete actions to our data of WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about part number 8. So before starting this video session guys, if this is your first video, then I strongly suggest you to continue from part 1 to get the clear concept about WP list table. We have discussed several things about WP list table by the help of a plugin. Okay, and also for the existing code guys, I have committed or uploaded all the code to the GitHub link. Okay, you can download from here. So just back to editor. So basically guys, what actually we are going to do inside this video session? We have made this plugin. OWT list table. So in this plugin guys we have simply feed some data which basically is the dynamic data which is actually coming from the post section. We have implemented a search, we have implemented a pagination as well as dynamic content rendering. Okay, so what is edit and delete actions? So if we just go to post section now here as we can see on hover, on hover any row we can see that edit, quick edit, trash and view these are called the actions. Okay, these are called actions. When we suppose move our mouse, it is disappear. But when we hover, these are the actions. Okay, so we want to make these actions to our data list. When suppose we want to hover on our title section, or let's suppose on post slug, we want to implement called edit and delete actions to these data. Okay, so how can we implement these features as we can see edit and delete? two operations we will see with these data okay so just back to editor so basically guys so far this is the plugin that we have made where we have made a simple menu section we go to administrator panel this is the menu we have developed okay so in this main plugin file this is the page that we have added and this is the page which basically contains all the codes of our WP list table here is the class file that we have imported and by the help of this class this is the class that we have extended Okay, some of the methods we have used to make our WP list table. Okay, so what actually we, steps that we have to follow to make the action buttons? So basically, to implement all these action buttons, we have a method provided by our WP list table class. Okay, so what actually the basic method is? So first of all, we have to define a method called public function, and let's define a function called column, and it, underscore this is a prefix that we have to add okay and now next we have to pass the column name actually at what column we want to implement our action buttons okay so suppose we want to implement or add our buttons to this title column okay so we have to make this method as column underscore title if suppose we want to implement this button with post slug so as you have remember post slug has the key the slug we have written Okay, so in that case we have to pass called column underscore slug. Okay, this method will give action buttons on this column. Okay, so we want to implement right now all the action buttons inside this title section. Okay, so just we have to pass called column and this is the title key that we have specified for that column. Okay, so now inside this function first we have to pass a parameter that is called item because this is the item actually contains an array individual array actually stored inside that variable okay so just back to editor so now we have to make the pair of buttons okay so let's say action this is the variable in that variable we are going to store our buttons okay so let's define two buttons called edit and the second buttons we want call something delete okay so these are the two buttons we are going to define and finally we have to return these action buttons okay so let's return something called as printf this is a PHP function basically this will take some of the dynamic value means placeholder section okay so we are going to use that so let's say 1 and this is something 2 these are called placeholders okay means we are going to attach some of the string values at this position okay this is dollar symbol okay so first actually the value will be provided to replace this field to placeholder something called item this is the item variable that we have defined and now inside this we are going to take the value of name section okay so not name its title okay this is the title section so first placeholder will be replaced by this title section okay means 
this is the title called test post 313 and test post 12 so these are the titles okay so first place holder for that okay in the second we're going to pass our pair of buttons called edit and delete section okay so let's say this here we have a method called raw actions this method actually provided power wp list table actions okay and now inside this method we have to pass this action variable okay so just i want to pass so this is the buttons that we have made okay so if we save that let's make some of the anchor tag for let's a let's say edit okay so inside that let's define anchor tag and let's delete for now let's i'm going to define href should be blank at this situation okay so there's javascript this should be null at this situation okay so just i'm going to copy href and paste inside this delete button okay so if we save that go to browser reload this page now page has been reloaded so basically guys i think that we have some error so that actually title section is missing so just back to editor and now this is the code that it did okay so basically this is the action this is the action we have passed inside row actions method and now this is the placeholder actually we have to replace okay so just i want to replace double quotes instead of single quotes okay so just make single quotes instead of double quotes okay so if we save that file refresh this page once more and now we have title section so once we hover any title section as we can see that we have two action buttons like edit and delete section once again I hover edit and delete buttons okay so basically there is no action we have attached so far with this this is simple edit and delete button we have actually added okay as we can see so now we have to add some of the codes inside this okay so just get rid of that let's say that page equal to first this is the placeholder that we have to replace this is the first placeholder we have to replace okay and the second let's say that action this is the second placeholder we have to replace means these are the values okay these are the values okay so and third we have to include let's say that book id okay or instead let's say post id okay so this is basically for post so basically this is post id and now this is our third placeholder okay so all we have to wrap inside our as printf okay where actually we can replace our dynamic values our placeholders okay so first of all using as printf we have to wrap this all inside this dub single quotes okay so first of all just remove the single quotes from inside that so just remove that and now we have to change this double quotes in, into single quotes okay so let's say that single quotes and now this is single quotes okay so now we have to wrap all these things inside double quotes okay so basically we have to replace all these things like placeholders for page for action and for post id okay so let's do that so just remove this action first parameter we have to replace with this page section Okay, so we have to add the page section something called OWT list table. Okay, so we will get something called get by the help of this page variable. Okay, get request this is the page actually by the help of that we can actually iterate or get this value. Okay, so this is page for the first placeholder. Okay, for the second we have to pass call action so basically this is edit section as we can see this is edit section. Okay, so let's pass that OWT OWT this is a deed action okay and third parameter we have to pass called the post ID okay so basically the post ID is stored inside this item array okay so just copy that pass here and now this is the ID section inside that array okay so if you go up this is the ID section we want to get okay so we have to pass ID here okay so these are the parameters guys we have replaced inside this as printf okay you can actually simply use another methods as well okay so just having to copy again and replace with this delete method okay so replace with that here we have to change only the action okay instead of edit we have delete method okay so just save that go to browser reload this page once we hover and edit as we can see that we have now page equal to OWT list table this is the page that we have got and now in the second this is OWT edit this is for the edit section and now we have third parameter called post ID
so same as for the delete section we have here we have delete edit also okay so we have to first replace this edit for delete section okay so if we save that replace and reload this page just inspect that and now we have delete button okay so these are the two actions guys that we have implemented with our title section okay so the basic steps that we have to remember is something like that that first of all we have to actually make those buttons with our title section okay so you have to make method like column as a co column underscore as a prefix and this is the title as the column name okay and these are the action buttons that we have made and successfully we have to actually return all these buttons okay so this is not a single method guys actually you can implement using as printf okay so if I comment all these codes and let's see that action simply array inside this array we have to make two buttons called edit okay this is the simple method actually we are going to see okay delete inside this let's make call to anchor tag okay because we're going to implement our anchor tag okay so inside this this is edit operation okay and inside href we have some parameters called page inside this page we have to pass off first parameter of this okay so we actually get by the help of this get request as a page method okay so just let's say get and this is the page section that we actually get from the URL okay in the second parameter we have to pass called our action okay so basically this is OWT edit okay this is the action and in the third parameter we have to pass called the post ID by the help of this ID guys actually we can edit our record okay so this ID actually we get from this item variable okay so just replace with that let's say item inside this we have to pass called ID okay so if we save this file just copy all these things and replace with the delete method okay so basically this is the page okay this is the action so action we have to let's say that edit it's delete okay and in the third parameter we have post ID as well and this is delete okay so if we save that reload this page we have now two buttons here so if we inspect that this is for the edit section same as what we have seen so far okay this is for the delete okay so instead of using a printf php function you can actually use your alternative ways too okay so basically guys so far we have seen that how can we use the default methods of our WP listable to implement our action buttons okay so just suppose that we want to edit and delete buttons with a one separate column something called action okay so how can we implement these buttons not with any row any data we want to make it separate buttons okay so how can we implement that so just back to editor so before using that if I get comment all these codes so let's make comment or just leave it for now okay so just we have to go inside our column section okay so first of all we have to make a column okay so let's say action so this is the action button we are going to make okay so inside this we are going to make some of the buttons okay so this is the column default actually provided or provides the data for our column section okay so in case of let's say case we have something called our action okay so by getting the action as a value we have defined here okay so by getting this column we have to return two buttons okay so let's say that return something and inside this we have to write called a anchor tag let's say anchor tag and this is for the edit button okay so let's say edit in the second button we want something called delete okay so let's say delete so this is for the delete so basically for now let's say JavaScript or href or something that what we have passed so far right here actually we can implement as well here too okay so let's say that href something called page or question mark something called page and now inside this page variable we actually get this value okay so let's say that get request inside this get we can actually pass the page value okay this is the page actually we are getting from here okay in the second parameter actually we can at attach our action okay so let's action action is something called OWT this is for the edit operation okay in the third parameter we can actually pass our post ID okay so basically post ID we can get from this item variable okay so just copy that 
and let's here say something called post ID single quotes for the concatenation operator and this is for the ID section okay so basically this is for the edit button okay we can implement actually this functionality with the delete button okay so let's say that href this is for the page question mark query string page and let's say that get let's say that page okay in the second parameter we have to attach our action so let's say OWT this is for the delete and third parameter we have to pass called the post ID okay so let's say post ID and this post ID actually we can get from our item variable okay so let's say that this is item variable and our ID section okay so these are the two buttons guys actually we have implemented with our separate column okay so if you back to browser reload this page so as we can see that inside the action inside the action row we can we have two buttons like edit and delete okay so if we inspect that we have same as we can see that page action and post ID okay but this functionality actually we can implement it separately so in the next video session guys we will see that how can we handle the functionality of edit and delete of this table okay so basically what we have seen so far we have made our custom columns as well as we have made our custom buttons with the help of a WP list table method okay so this is one of the simplest method actually will apply to individual columns to appear these buttons okay and these are the custom buttons that we have made by adding one column to our column get columns method okay and we have provided some values to this column by using column default as a method okay so by the help of this video session guys which we understood about that how can we implement our ID delete action buttons to our data in our WP list table okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day